In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The true light that was given to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through Him, the world did not recognize Him. You see, some people just didn't get it. They expected something else, someone else. A knight on a horse, a political leader who would free them from the oppression of an occupying army. They waited for centuries for a Messiah who would free them from the tyranny of slavery and political oppression. But here comes this guy from the wrong side of town, from the wrong kind of family, with the wrong kind of message. Instead of overturning the Roman Empire, he was coming against the empire of religiosity. Instead of freeing people from the oppression of political slavery, he came to free them from the slavery of sin. Instead of establishing a kingdom of Israel, he rules the kingdom of heaven. He was the wrong Messiah at the wrong time. At least that's what they thought. Here he was, grace and truth, wrapped in flesh, the fulfillment of the prophecy they had held to for centuries. And yet somehow, some of them missed it. But not everyone, no, not everyone. There were those who saw him for who he was, the son of the living God, who came to save man from his sin, to pay the price none of us could pay, to restore those to God who would confess Jesus the Christ, Messiah, King of kings and Lord of lords, the only one worthy of our faith, our trust, our worship and our devotion. Here he is reigning over time and space, heaven and earth, victorious over sin and death but not a victory won on the cross. Oh no, but the final victory won by a conquering king in an empty tomb!